please help me get him to his room. I don't want my sisters to see. And where are you off to so early in the morning? Lord Berkeley and I are going into town. Again? Haven't you just seen him? You need to slow down, Francine. How dare you speak to me like that? I will not be taking relationship advice from somebody that can't stay in one themselves. Perhaps you can go and see what they want. Hatsy and I'm back with a brand new part of Caliwell Estate. So this time we've had some stuff happen this morning. Well, first of all, the father really shouldn't be out of bed. Oh, <laughs> his needs are all over the place. Now he did collapse earlier today. It's now 8.13. I think he probably collapsed at about 6 a.m. and that didn't go very well. However, hey, Maybe he's feeling a bit better. Maybe he's feeling like he should get up, go and have a bath and yeah, get ready for the day. Well, apart from that, the girls have had a visit this morning and it was only really brief. However, it was the fact that they've been invited to a ball tonight by the person that saw Beatrice at the theatre, whose name is William. And he is a Viscount. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting stuff. So I think she'd probably talk about it with Julia. I hate how they've had to make their own breakfast. It's so frustrating how Maeve Beryl just won't step in when we need her. Why? Just why? But, you know, maybe Beatrice is happy cooking. Maybe it's something that she wants to do, which is, is good too. I wonder what Beryl's doing. <laughs> She's sleeping. Oh my gosh. She is the laziest person ever, I swear. But I do, I do actually love that. I think she changed her hair. I'm honestly not sure. But yeah, so this part is mainly going to be focused on storylines. There's going to be lots of stuff happening at the end of the episode. And I've also got an update for you. So please stick around for that because that will be pretty good. I wonder what the girls are doing. Are they meeting outside in the snow in their dressing gowns? <laughs> girls have had a little fallout this morning, but it does look like they are making up. To be honest, I think Beatrice came out to apologise. That would make sense though. That's the only reason I'd imagine her to run in the snow in a dressing gown to apologise to her sister because they had a little bit of an argument before, but I'm sure they will get over it sooner or later. So May Beryl's just joined them, probably asking if she can assist them with anything. Well, actually, yeah, you can. You can at least serve breakfast. I know that a lot of the girls have eaten so far, Maybe they're going to sit in the ballroom, actually. Oh my goodness, that's awful. Let's move that outside. we we'll move that on the front lawn. That looks disgusting. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Oh my goodness. My game's slow today. If they're going to a ball later, maybe they go and sit in the ballroom and have a chat and just be generally excited. This is probably Juliet's first time out of the house, I guess, <laughs> which sounds really bad. But, you know, again, she's still pretty young, so you just have to consider that for a second. So they're all gathering in the ballroom, and I hope that May Beryl's made that breakfast. I'm just going to check. Yeah, she's made it. Well, it's probably just easier to bring it to the girls. I know this looks absolutely terrible, <laughs> but I'm just dragging it. It may be making so many people dizzy right now. Like, oh my gosh, my eyes. However, we're going to put it here next to the pile of Beatrice's letters, which are just like basically sad excuses for the fact that George hasn't called off his wedding yet. Oh dear. So <laughs> they're doing a pose. Oh my goodness. No, I forgot to take out my game. Stop it. Stop it. Debug. How do I even do this? Oh my gosh. Why? Just why right now? Okay, I need to remember that sharing, I think sharing secrets is a pose. I need to take that out of the game. But yeah, looks like Francine is causing 
More disruptions with the sisters. Honestly, they find it very difficult to get on with at times, which I relate to a lot about my sister. I'm gonna change her outfit though, so she kind of matches the pastel theme. Oh, she's never worn that before. Maybe she'd wear that tonight. Yes, they all should wear really big dresses tonight. That's what I think. I think Beatrice will wear her bell inspired dress. Okay, she needs to go to the toilet. Well, she'll go by herself eventually. Yeah, it's been really laggy since the bowling update. It's like every single update we get, it gets worse. I need to sort my mods folders out as well. But to be fair, at least Margaret's not hungry anymore. The father's came in as well. He's feeling really refreshed. Do you know, it's such a shame though, because out of everybody, the father just like walks around here. You know, he is obviously drinking a lot of the time and he doesn't really get any consequences from it. It's everybody else that has to suffer. I'd imagine that maybe the girls are feeling a little bit let down by him right now. I don't think that most of them though, I think it's only Beatrice and Francine that know that he collapsed this morning, but still not a very good influence, especially to Juliet because she's so young and she's around that stage in her life at the moment where she's bound to get a little bit rebellious and just hope that she doesn't go down the same path as a father did, or has, rather. So anyway, I think apart from that, because we just had a brief look at the family, I mean, it's not gonna be a long part today, mainly for the reason that there's a lot of like <laughs> storylines to get through and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. There will be an announcement at the end, so please stay tuned for that, and I will speak to you all in the next part.
are you doing? Get off of me! Nobody will know what you have done. I'm back with the announcement at the end and I really wanted to give this its own section of a video because I've mentioned parts about it in like speed builds and stuff but I just wanted to talk about it for a second. So number one, Margaret's storyline is actually inspired or based off something really real that happened to me. Nothing happened, same with Margaret however it was just a really uncomfortable situation. And I definitely wanted to incorporate some realism to Caliwell Estate because for those of you that don't know, I like to incorporate parts of my own life into my series. So there are real characters that are inspired by real people. And a lot of people have been asking like, are these inspired off real people? They are. The second update is something a little bit different. And it's actually about the voiceover parts for the series. So basically I've had people give me their voice parts and I've incorporated them into the series and these are real people that watch the channel and it's been the most amazing thing to have it just come to life really because that's how it feels and I know that a lot of you've really been enjoying it I have as well I really enjoy watching it back and feeling as if the characters are just brought more to life because you know what they sound like I just want to thank those people so the main one obviously like for the whole series and I only say this because she's also been in Let's Play Witches and she's been in Caliwell Estate and she's really been with me for about like six to eight months now that's Lexi Bright she is such a fantastic voice actress and there are so many others of course I don't want to just name everybody because the problem is I will end up leaving people out and it's going to cause drama. However, the problem is if I could just rely on like five or six people for the whole series, that would be amazing. It's kind of got to the point where it's not that and I've got to try and put my trust in other people and a lot of other people don't deliver on what they're going to say that they want to do. So what I mean by that is in the past I've given people parts and they just haven't got back to me and it doesn't sound like a big deal and it's not a big deal but when so many people do it when so many people let you down it gets to a point where you're just like i've lost control of my own series you know that's how i felt for a time because it's the same with let's play witches i have absolutely lost control you know people ask me in the comments when's the next part coming out and honestly I have no idea. The point of this announcement is to say that unfortunately this is the last part that I will be sharing voice parts in. Maybe if things work out, if I find more people that I trust out of my little circle of <laughs> trusted people at the moment, then yeah, like maybe we can bring them back in the future. I really appreciate it if you've watched it to this point and for anyone that you see asking in the comments like why did the voices stop please just let them know and just tell them to you know look at the end of this video and stuff and hopefully it will explain. Thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll speak to you all soon.